pancreatic juice, contains inactive enzymes, trypsinogen, chemotrypsinogen, procarboxypeptidase, amylases, lipases, and nucleases. Pancreatic juice also contains large amount of bicarbonates, which neutralizes the acid present in the chyme and makes the chyme slightly alkaline. Trypsinogen and chemotrypsinogen are converted into their active form by an enzyme called enterokinase, secreted by the intestinal mucosa into active trypsin. Once small amount of trypsin is formed, it converts the rest of inactive enzymes into active enzyme. This is called autocatalysis. Proteins, proteases, and peptones, partially hydrolyzed proteins in the chyme reaching the intestine are acted upon by the proteolytic enzymes of pancreatic juice. Proteins, peptones, proteases, trypsis, or chemotrypsin, carboxypeptidase, converts dipeptides. Amylase present in pancreatic juice acts on carbohydrates and converts into disaccharides. Starch in the presence of amylase converts disaccharides. Fats in the presence of lipase converts to diglyceride converts to monoglyceride. Nucleus in the pancreatic juice acts on nucleic acid to form nucleotide and nucleosides. Nucleic acids, nucleases, nucleotides, nucleosides. Cells present in the intestinal wall secrete mucus and enzymes in the form of intestinal juice. This is called sucus entericus. The juice contains variety of enzymes like disaccharides, dipeptidases, lipases, nucleosidases, etc. These enzymes act on the end products of the above reactions to form simple absorbable forms. Peptidases convert peptides into amino acids. Dipeptides, dipeptidases, amino acids. Intestinal lipase completely digests fats, di and monoglycerates, lipases, fatty acids plus glycerol. Enzyme sucrose, maltase, lactase, hydrolyzed sucrose, maltose and lactose, respectively converting them into glucose. Other sugars are also produced in this process. Maltose, in the presence of maltase, converts glucose plus glucose. Lactose, in the presence of lactase, converts into glucose plus galactose. Sucrose, in the presence of sucrose, converts to glucose plus fructose. Nucleotides and nucleosidase complete the digestion of nucleic acids. Nucleotides, nucleotideases, nucleosides, nucleosideases, sugars plus bases. The breakdown of biomacromolecules occurs in the duodenum region of the small intestine. The simple substances thus formed are absorbed in the jejunum and ileum regions of the small intestine. The undigested and unabsorbable substances are passed on to the large intestine. No significant digestive activity occurs in the large intestine. The functions of large intestine are 1. Absorption of water and minerals. 2. Secretion of mucus helps in adhering the waste particles together and lubricating it for easy passage. The undigested and absorbable substances called feces enters into cecum of large intestine through the ileo cecal valve which prevents the backflow of fecal matter. 
it is temporarily stored in the rectum from where it is adjusted through the anus. The undigested waste is called foicus. The process of elimination of undigested food is called defecation. The rough edge in the diet helps in promoting the movement of bowels.